Hello, my name is Kathy Pig. I'm Executive Vice President with Brinley Construction Company here in Pulaski, and I'm excited today to get to welcome you and tell you something about the construction industry, which I think is a wonderful opportunity for each one of you to consider. I've been with Brinley for a long, long time, 45 years. <laughs> I started with Brinley right out of high school. Didn't go to college, and my first job was as a receptionist. I've worked my way up through the ranks. I have had jobs that provided me the opportunity to be a construction manager, to work out in the field. Now I'm, in re I'm responsible for marketing and estimating. Some of the things that I don't think you may have thought of as a student is all the different avenues that are available to you in a construction field. We have not only the original, uh, painters, concrete finishers, brick masons, uh, electricians, plumbers. There's an array of office positions that involve accounting, that involve public relations, business development. It's kind of their own little town that comes together to make a successful business. We employ about 50 people now at our office here in Pulaski and we work across the southeastern United States. That could give you an opportunity to travel. That could give you an opportunity to see many parts of the country and to learn a lot about a lot of people. What do you have to work towards to have a career in construction? First, you have to be hardworking. First, you have, to, you have to like people and you have to know math. In any position, entry level, other than just a field laborer, you're gonna have to have some math experience. If you're a carpenter, that's important. If you're an electrician, that's important. If you're a, uh, just about anything other than just with a shovel and a pick, <laughs> you've got to know math. Now how can you get into construction? You can go in as a laborer. You can work your way up through the process. You can get your high school diploma or GED and go to an apprenticeship program which if you're really interested in the trades, which are concrete, electri electrical, plumbing, drywall, and so forth, the NCCER program for construction apprenticeship is an excellent choice for you. Many times you can go to work for a company, say as an electrical apprentice, and you can get, they will pay for you to go to school at night for you to acquire the education that you need to become a master electrician. So it's full of opportunities for you to think about. Pay range, everyone wants to know that. The average pay in our industry probably at an entry level position is probably in the $30,000 range. Goes up to, you know, $125,000, $150,000 depending on your responsibility and what you're willing to invest of your time and the responsibility you're willing to take. One of the new degrees is in construction management, and it's one of the best jobs in construction. You need a business degree or a construction, de construction degree for that, and several colleges now are offering a construction management degree. I know MTSU is. What do I love best about construction? I have to say I'm probably one of the luckiest people in the world. I fell into a career that I love. I didn't grow up thinking I was going to work for a construction company. I met a wonderful mentor that helped me learn and gave me as a woman the opportunity to advance. I'm in a family business that we, we treasure each other, we look out for each other, and we work hard together. And that's the kind of relationships that you build in construction. It's hard, but it's also worth it. One of the things that you need in construction is a mentor. You need to find someone that will help you learn the ropes. I had the privilege of working with Mr. Tom Mamet. Excellent, excellent person, communicator. So many things that he gave me that I would have never known. And as a woman in construction, you may think that's kind of unique, but really it's not. It's opening up and there are all kinds of opportunities for women in engineering, in the trades, in the plumbing, in the electrical. So don't 
avoid construction because you're a woman. Diversity is something we haven't embraced and we've seen the error of our ways. The things that you're going to have to do no matter what position you enter, you're going to have to have those people skills. You're going to have to have good work habits. You're going to have to show up on time. You're going to have to have respect for the authority figures in the company. It's not a pastime. You can't just come to work four days a week because you can't get by on three days salary. You've got to be dependable. I'd just like to implore you today to think about a career in construction. There's a network of construction people in this county, in this area. It can be a cement finisher, it can be a concrete uh, truck driver, it can be uh, a graphic artist. There are so many opportunities in construction in this area for you to consider. We at Brindley Construction would love to bring some students in to work uh, as apprentices. This is a dying art. People just don't naturally think of construction. And there's a growing need here and across the country. I can guarantee you, you can go to work in construction.